lovely viewers welcome to this platform once again i'm sure you've been wondering what's the update on site maybe you haven't seen us here in a while we are back and i'm here with engineer george he's going to walk us through this property at great city i'm sure most of you are familiar with this property um Ajo has been walking you through it um for quite some time now so we are here we've seen some development and engineer george is here with us he's going to take us through what has happened so far from the last time that we came here so stick and stay with us i'm very sure you would enjoy this session and you would learn something new so engineer welcome You're welcome been a while uh, been how's it on yeah. site I'm managing <laughs> all right so <laughs> our audience missed the update on yeah. site we need to let them know what's going on sure, and sure, um, sure. for the benefit of those who might be seeing this video for the very first time walk us through what this property is i mean the kind of structure you are putting up how many rooms what it entails okay. give us some details so it's a two-story residential property home or residential property yeah. uh, we started from we've been here from the inception yes. the marking out yes. the setting out yes. foundation the filling until recently the beams and then the oversight yeah so this is the current state we are now we are raising the blocks and we are partitioning the rooms to the required sizes and what is on the drawing so okay. i'll walk you through the washrooms the kitchen the bedroom so you see the sizes as to what we, the progress we are making so far okay but currently we are standing in the family area okay so this is the family area there's a kitchen somewhere there's a courtyard with this is a family area this is a family area. so where's the living area the living area is is behind the family area. so he has he has peculiar things he wants us to do for him so he has right. a family area and a living area and then a courtyard and okay. then an out courtyard which are all okay. part of you can all uh, inclusive of family area in <laughs> guys so you, you, you are you're realizing there are so many yeah. or so much details included in this particular yes. property yes. so yes. um you need to understand that whatever details you want included in your property royal kingdom estate we are very diligent sure. we don't overlook details we'll make sure we include them and we'll give you the right advice when sure. it comes to the kind of building you want to put up. Sure. All right, so let's continue. And, and this, fortunately, the client has an open kitchen. So okay. the kitchen is just open to the family area. Okay. So let's let's start from this section. But before that, this is this is where we are now. This is the, the block work level. The last time you were here, mm -hmm. we were on the substructure or the oversight. The oversight. The yeah. oversight. And then this is the block work now. So this is the dining area. All right. This is a dining area. He has a very large window overlooking yes, the compound. I, yes. Is there a reason he, he's going Because for of the... where it is situated, we need a lot of air to come in. Okay. Because of the entrance is going to be blocked. There's going to be a door over there that will not allow air to come in. So that his windows are quite large. All right. You know, it's going to be glazed. And usually glazed, glass window, you virtually block half of the window all the time because you slide to one side. Uh, so 50% of this is going to be closed. All right. That is how come the windows are here to allow more air in. So this is this is the dining area. The dining area. And this is the courtyard. 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 Okay. So he sits where right. these windows are quite lower than the dining area, still mm. overlooking the compound. And this is where the family might relax or sit, have some good time. He and seems to be going for large windows large windows those are virtual if you are doing glass window or glazing window mm -hmm. it's, it's usually nicer and better if they are large okay. because as i keep saying compared to the louver frames louver frames are always 100 percent open whether you slide it open there everything is okay but then for glass windows or glazing window you are virtually closing half all the time because you can't open all the two mm -hmm. you slide one leaf onto the other one yeah. so virtually 50 percent of yeah, the window is closed. always closed makes sense do you understand that is it so Makes this sense. is the the courtyard the courtyard, the courtyard okay. back into the dining space the dining space yes so then where is the kitchen this is the kitchen it's an open kitchen it looks like it's quite spacious it's an open kitchen so he's going to have his sink this is a provision we made for where his sink is going to be mm -hmm. so this is where they, they will place the sink with the cabinet come whatever cabinet that he wants to do the sink is going to be here has an open kitchen this way okay yes. mm. so is there going to be an island, um, that, island. That, the place is big enough to take to take an island, island. So, but that will be okay. dependent on him we are mm -hmm. not doing the finishing we are only okay. the structure and okay. for him. yes okay and then that's have, interesting it's we have huge we have two steps over here one is a dog leg and then the other is a spiral what the dog leg dog leg dog leg that is that is the traditional stairs that we usually have oh i know yes. the spiral but i never knew this was called a dog <laughs> it leg. it's called dog leg 
So, Interesting. Guys, we, I hope you are learning. Dog we have, leg. We have, we, have, we have types of them. Okay. But this is a dog leg, uh -huh. uh, half turn. Okay. So we have, we have a full turn. That is sort of a 180 turn. All right. We have the 90 turn. That is half turn. And then we also have the quarter turn. Okay. So it depends on your landing and then where the stair is, is turning up to. So okay. we have the dog leg, which is going to be uh, made out of wood and they were not concrete uh, like we usually see. This mm. is going to be made out of wood. wood. And then the spiral one will be made out of concrete. So there are two actually, there the two spiral spaces. and then the, the dog, the leg, dog yes. leg. Interesting. Yes. What, what space is there? This I mean, is the laundry. Okay, that's so a laundry space. The kitchen. We can't we, yeah, we can access it now because of the way we scattered okay. our block. It has a laundry space over so that's here. A laundry space. That's a laundry space. And yes. this? This is the kitchen store. Storage. That's a storage. Mm. Yes. Uh, two spaces actually. Yeah, two spaces. The inner storage and then the outer one. So this basically maybe for food stuff that is not easily you don't want people to get access to it easily okay. and then this may be for utensils or any other thing that you want to keep over here interesting yes. that's amazing yeah and then we have should i say visitors bedroom this way oh okay mm -hmm. i'm the guessing there's bedroom. a space for wardrobe wardrobe yes and, and there's a the washroom. washroom yes mm -hmm. one thing i'm noticing about this building is how the space is being used Managed. efficiently that is it yes that is that is one thing that you know i am of this perception that back in the days okay we didn't really or our forefathers didn't really manage that, land that, that space is, that, that is why now yes. you are supposed to consult the experts right to take you through some of this things. right so would you say back then we didn't uh, have so much knowledge about those who back then i'll say those who had the, the fans were able to but then and it, it looks like i don't know i stand to be corrected but it looks like some of the uh commercial infrastructure really had experts on them that is compared it. to the, the home or the private, yes, yes that, that is yes because we still have that some of the true. commercial stuff we are still so benefiting they're still working from them yeah, today yeah, but yeah, when it comes to the homes Nah, it's like most, yeah most are, <laughs> are not up to standard yeah yeah, yeah yeah yes, yes. okay so this is a visitor's this washroom visitors, this is a visitor's bedroom sorry the visitor's bedroom and then the washroom, then the washroom. Yes. and then so where's yeah. the guest washroom guess okay Was there, yeah like a, a is there a general, general yes guest washroom on the ground so floor it's, it's part of the laundry this way okay apologies for the way we stack our blocks that's fine but then we have some small oh okay space so there's a space there, here for it we have the laundry right over here as okay well. so this is, is not the right way to pack blocks or to stack blocks anyway. work is still ongoing so guys pardon that us for it. that it's, it's but there's a space in there for the visitors washroom yes. on the ground floor okay so this side what are we so at this side we have we have another washroom over here basically for visitors okay yes so if maybe the laundry is in use, then it's another. Can use, yes, another. Uh, oh, that's cool. Over here. Just and to prevent any inconveniences, that's really cool. Sure. To so have two guest washrooms yes. and, and even then has a, a library. Oh, it has a library. For a library, yes. That's nice. It's, it's important small, to invest in knowledge, guys. That is that is true. So it has a small portion for a library over here. Nice. Yes. Nice. I like the culture of building a library in their home that, that is true it's 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 really important it looks like you know that we can never uh undermine the crucial role of reading that is or true. That acquiring is true. knowledge through books and yeah your mind yes. even though in this age of so much technology we want to do everything audio sure. or go online we want it's to visualize everything read. but you can't you can never no undermine Maybe if you go online you still have to read yes you still have to read yes 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 that's so that's this is the library that's the library that's, and then that's let's nice. proceed to the master bedroom okay wait so the master bedroom is on the we ground have, floor we have one master bedroom on the ground floor and then the another at the top so i've also realized that usually some of the clients depending yes. on maybe age or you that know they, they don't want to climb stairs that is it. So, so they might want to but bring in the meantime he might be using the top the top but okay as time goes on the time he, his strength goes down he prefer he wants to, to come down he will be at the bottom yes. that's really thoughtful this is the master bedroom with a very huge space for walk-in closet oh this is a walk-in closet yes. this this is a walk-in walk closet yes and then the washroom that's interesting <laughs> i'm guessing if i'm i'm 80 85 and i have a walk-in closet like this <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to wear all the clothes <laughs> out there. That's probably the home most often. Yes. But we'll so see. <laughs> this is this is quite a large space for washroom. 
Okay. And this is his washroom. So we have the. Is this going? Is there going to be a jacuzzi? Or okay, what else? Jacuzzi or a bath? A whichever bath, he yeah. prefers. Yes. So we have a standing bath. Okay. Or a standing shower. shower. Okay. And then that of the bath or jacuzzi or whichever he wants he to. Wants to store. Over here. And then this is the place for the WC. Okay. So you can see we've, we laid the pipe. So the down. sink is where here. The sink is going to be here. That's Interesting. The, the, you see the difference between a sink. And then the wash hand basin. The wash hand basin. The wash hand basin is for washrooms or bathrooms. Bathrooms. But the yeah. sink is for the kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. Uh, oftentimes we, inter <laughs> we interplay the yes, news. Yes, yes, but yes. But the wash yes. hand basin the is wash for the bathrooms. Basin, yeah. The sink is for the kitchen. Right. Yes, please. Interesting. Guys, look at this huge space for a working closet. I'm sure some of you are relishing this kind of space. Just imagine having your shoes and your clothes. You know, you can just walk in and pick at any point in time you don't have to even plan ahead that's interesting all right so this another large another large window, window. overlooking where he intend to put his swimming pool or ah, must his be garden nice. or whatever yes yeah that's nice so, that's interesting yes. interesting what kind of blocks are we using we are using uh concrete blocks or quite dust blocks okay. compared to the sun crate blocks these are much durable than that and a bit expensive or a bit affordable than the other one Mm. yes yes so like we've been saying when it comes to construction you don't have to compromise when it comes to building so if if the cost is relatively higher than the usual ones on the market the point is the focus should be on the quality sure. right so sure. guys don't compromise when it comes to your building don't because you end up spending more later you don't want that maintenance even chop you off. what kind of um iron rod are we using uh, this is 16 mm Okay. For the main bars and then 10 mm for the links for okay. the stirrups. Yes. So you can have a look at it tied by binding wire. Okay. And you can see our columns are already in place yeah. for the carpenters to come and board. So we do the block on the attach. They board it and then we cast. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So that's what we have for the ground floor, for right? The ground floor, yes. So now we are left to it. The, the, the decking or yes. the formwork, then the decking, and then whatever will come on top. Mm. yes so this is another courtyard at the back overlooking the swimming pool area this client yeah, seems yeah. to be prioritizing uh, <laughs> family moments yes because he's making enough so much space spaces for family for, for family Wherever time he is yes. he wants it to be a family space that's nice so this is a sitting area or family area overlooking he is proposing to do a pool over here so the family sitting area overlooking the pool so some nice de uh, window designs so that's a family man we are dealing with. Yes. So it tells you, you can actually even walk into a home, look at the design, the orientation, and it gives you a fair idea of whoever who, is, yes, owning, whoever the is, is, is yes. owning the property. And you can obviously tell this is a family oriented yes. client or a family oriented man. And that's beautiful. I mean, it's interesting. So we are left with the form where the, the work. decking. After the this, we let the cabinets board, the we cast it cast we make sure it cures properly right and then we move to the lintels and then we deck okay yes so um for again to the lay person watching us what's a lintel lintel is just the the concrete beams or concrete section above a window or a door you get it those are the ones that prevent whatever you put on top of the door doesn't put so much pressure on the door that's like a brick barrier yeah. for whatever weight you are putting above the door or window but beams are what actually carry the slab. They are interconnected with the columns to share whatever load ahead or on top of them all the way into the ground to where the, we have the mat mm -hmm. or the footing of the columns. Ah. Okay, so we oftentimes hear lentil, lentil, and lentil, I, yes. I just thought you should explain to a lay person out there. So we are looking forward to much more updates or sure, development sure, sure. the next time we come the next on. time you come there will be so much change for you too yeah yeah, yeah. and like i'm the last time you were here yeah and i'm i mean not my, myself alone but the whole team we are particularly glad that we've been able to carry our audience along sure. with From this particular side. project yes uh yes it, it helps them stay informed they get to learn they get to see lapses even if some of them are already sure. uh, going on sure. with their project sure. and it also tells them that we are the right choice to sure. come to because guys look at this i mean you've seen the process from beginning from scratch up until where we are now and 
you've seen the thought process, you've seen the kind of orientation that we've been able to put out for the client. It's giving you a fair idea of the kind of person we are even dealing with. So when it comes to details, we are, you know, your number one go-to solution. So I hope this session has been informative. It has been interesting. You've learned a few things here and there and you've gotten enough reason as to why you should do business with us because we, of course, are your one-stop shop. We prioritize quality, client satisfaction. And again, we have more plots on our site. Um, we have Grace City Phase 3, which is selling. We have Black Star Village. We have The View. We have more plots. Um, we are ready to accommodate you watching us on our site. We are ready to build for you. This is what we do. This is why we are here. This is why we are existent. We are existent because of you guys. So. Please reach out to us and we'll come your way with more updates on this channel. So like, subscribe, comment and share. See you in the next session. Bye for now.